Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss power apps update data table like update the power apps data table columns using SharePoint online list or collection and also how to refresh the power apps data table first of all here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like product details inside this I have added different columns with various data types now I would like to bind these values on a power apps data table and update the data table columns as per our needs to achieve it just go to the power apps this is our power apps home page whenever you want to create a blank canvas app just click on the create button then click on the blank app then choose blank canvas app then click on the create button here provide the app name then choose the format as tablet or phone next click on the create button guys you should remember whenever you want to add the SharePoint online list to the power apps just go to the data section here select the add data and search SharePoint then select SharePoint then choose your SharePoint online site URL then choose your respect to SharePoint online site then choose your respect to SharePoint online list like product details then click on the connect button now go to the power apps default screen just rename the screen like now insert a data table for that expand the insert tab search the data table then select the data table control and you can make it as alignment properly and increase the font size now set its items property as SharePoint online list like product details you can see here whenever you connect the SharePoint online list to the data table the data table displays the default title column product name as a title however if you want to display the title column name as product name you can change the header text to the product name like here you can change the header text like product name next i will show you how to display the price column value after adding a 20 percent discount for that set its text to property like here you can see 20 by 100 it is the value of the discount of your price value next suppose you want to combine and display the two column values like product name and manufacturer in one column for that select the product name column and change the text to property like here you can see this is my title column name like product name and this is my manufacturer column name you can also change the header text like product name and manufacturer this is how to change the power apps data table columns next i will show you how to refresh the power apps data table for that insert a button control and change the text to property of a button then set its on select property of a button control like here you can see whenever you can use the clear or reset function to refresh the power apps data table you will get an error message like the function clear has some invalid arguments invalid arguments type control expecting a value instead the first argument of clear should be a collection to resolve this issue you can use the power apps collection for that go to the app object here select the on store property to create a collection like
here you can see this is my collection name like collection products this is my sharepoint online list like product details now select the data table and set its item property instead of sharepoint online list like collection products next to select the button control and change the on select property like once your app is ready just save and publish the app now go to the preview section you can see here whenever the user click on the reset button it will reset the data table like this in the last i will show you how to display the all amount like price multiple by quantity for that set the text to property of price control like here you can see this is my price column and this is my quantity column and output is like this yes friends this is all about how to update the power apps data table i hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you